Stephen, um, very difficult conditions there tonight. Um, should that game gone ahead? Um, you know, I, I mean that that's a decision for for the kind of council and a decision for the referee that they pass the pitch um, fit. So you know that we have to. They're, they're, I'm sure, quite conscious of player welfare as well, and they, they, they deem the pitch on, on their experience to be good to go. I suppose these games aren't about results, but uh, you know it'd be nice to, to get a win over Galway. I think that's three defeats in a row now. I suppose you'll be looking to try and uh, erase that sort of statistic when it comes to the league. Ah, look, we, we go out to win every game, so uh, it's it's not necessarily um, statistics that, 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 that are what we're conscious of in relation to... to, to how we win games we'll be going to win the game against Monaghan uh, which will be our first National League focus and we'll work our way towards the Galway game then Just on tonight's game obviously conditions were very very difficult for both sets of players um, how do you feel you, you performed was there anything that you, you liked what you saw there tonight? Um, I think what, what you saw is that um, you know we still tried to probably play um, you know a fast brand of football in, in what was a very very difficult um pitch but uh, you know really really hard uh, conditions a um, lot of water on the pitch gale wind so um, look I, I, I'd be I'd be happy with the, the guys uh, endeavour in relation to that and probably the difference in the game was you know Galway's experience you know they've they, you know they had uh, quite a number of seasoned players uh, in there certainly into the into that final quarter and they were able to close out the game um, no you know maybe even reasonably comfortable they were able to put the, the bodies in, in front of goal and shooting into, into that gale force breeze you know we weren't really going to score for maybe 35 or 40 yards out just speaking of experience the main bulk of the squad is back now from the break over the Christmas uh, will you be utilising those against Roscommon or in the last couple of FPD games yeah well look we ha we'll have to see what uh, how the bodies are after Leitrim and um, Galway games, a um, lot of tired bodies, you know, I think that's one thing that, you know, ha has been, um, you know, quite pleasing is that the the squad th 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 that that um, that have come in uh, haven't been found wanting for fitness, um, so that's, that's quite positive, but, you know, two games in 24 hours and a third one coming now in um, another uh, 48 hours that's going to be difficult but you know we'll see who we have available and we'll see what um, what's available from the 2017 squad and just finally is there any obvious injuries uh, over th caused by the last couple of games or from previous um Barry Moran just has a, a, a has a slight hamstring that you know that we'll make an assessment on tomorrow um but um I don't think we have a, 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 any other fresh injury um at this point <laughs>